Let's start off from that United game, 3-0. Um, not very difficult goals. Very, the goals look very rehearsed for Manchester City. Yeah, of course. It was never in doubt. Not even the goal. The result was never in doubt. Because at the end of the day, this Manchester United team epitomizes what the owners are all about. Look, the Glazers, <laughs> that is why people, somebody like me, I have delightfully and wholeheartedly relinquish them that these people don't kill me. You are not taking no kill me. Go and let me have my peace. I can't believe Yo, this. I'm telling you honestly. You see, look. Oh, man. You came from your worst season mm -hmm. in the history of the Premier League. Yeah. You brought the manager who did extremely well. To every United supporter who thinks that Ten Hag is the problem, mm -hmm. then I don't know what you are thinking about. Because this manager... If you if if you were told that Ten Hag mm -hmm. would do that well, yeah, he did in his first last season. season. Nobody would have believed that. Now, what did the Glazers needed to do? They needed to back this manager, mm -hmm. back him beyond every every reasonable doubt. He said, the manager gave nine players out. He said, look, sell these nine players and bring me at least six in. Mm -hmm. Sir Fred, Sir McTominay, Sir Maguire, Sir uh, Martial. Uh, Anthony Marcia, Sir Jaden Sancho. On top of my Sir Van der Beek. I've forgotten the other nine players, sell them. How many of them got sold? Mm -hmm. Only Fred. Only Fred. Then he said, bring me Kim Ming Jae. Mm -hmm. Who had a release clause of 45 million pounds, 45 million euros? United couldn't afford that. Go to Daniel Levy, mm -hmm. get Harry Kane, sell Mashiach, use Mashiach's money to bring in Rashmus Hoyland. He's 20 years, he's yeah. the future of the team. He cannot be made to carry the burden, let Harry Kane tutor him mm -hmm. for the next two years. Mm -hmm. The one you hand over the baton to him, he knows how to go about it. This manager was not backed. Bring me Amrabat. Amrabat came on the last day. That is what the Glazers is all about. Is that why they are they losing to really? They don't care. Now, you cannot cry over spilt milk. Mm -hmm. The injury situation has compelled this manager to play certain players that he wouldn't have played in a big game like this. But Manchester United should not be crying over players who are not present. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How on earth? Today, I think about 10 years ago. No, Alice Ferguson retired 13 years ago, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, I think about 14 years ago, mm -hmm. Man City beat United 6-1. Yeah. 14 years after, Johnny Evans, who played in that 6-1 game, <laughs> finds himself at the age of... 37. You know, that's serious. A retired Johnny Evans. That's serious. Is the one partnering <laughs> Harry the Zuku Magua. <laughs> no more. Don't talk about my captain like that. Forget about Capito, it. Capito, Capito, has been, him today. Capito has been in his We all saw him captain. today. When the system is weak, <laughs> you will be exposed. Me, he's Capito. not my captain. So me, I'm talking <laughs> about that captain. Oh, I'm analyzing the game. Look. Look at that defensive line. Yeah. Today, but for Nana. It should yeah, have been a minimum be five, of seven. Six, yeah. No, seven. <laughs> a minimum of seven. Mm. Oboshi. <laughs> a minimum of seven. I was about to ask what seven was. Oboshi. Mm. A mm. minimum of seven. Mm. If you look at the game today. Yeah. Look. Everything in Mayfield. Yes, yeah, it's Edwin. We did the game. Man. I was there. They were doing yeah. the game. Man, but I sat back watching the game. The moment Amrabat got that yellow card. We all agree that, look, it was game over. Hmm. Because if you look at the work Amrabah was doing, he was not necessarily controlling the game because uh -huh. Ericsson would not win any ball yeah. off anybody. And McTominay, too, tactically was just interested in joining the attack, joining the attack, joining the attack. You don't play football like uh -huh. that if you are playing against a team so obsessed with possessing the ball. Yeah. You need to keep players in their position. So on this one, I blame every Ten Hag. Huh. The game plan couldn't have been that you need to go at them. 
it was transitional. Yeah. If you're going to play a transitional game, you need to keep players in their position. Get them to work and get the transition to mm -hmm. present itself. But McTominay's starting position in midfield along Ericsson and Amrabat today was always wrong. So mm. the moment the natural ball winner in the middle of the pack got booked and therefore was not brought up back in that second half because mm -hmm. there was clearly, if Amrabat had lost it, he would have, been, he would have gotten a second yellow card yeah. in the center. Everything just went from bad to worse. Look, have you ever seen Pep Guardiola? requesting or telling the board of Man City, yeah. give me this player, and they have refused. Every player he's gone for, but for Harry Kane, mm -hmm. because Dan Levy, Levy at the time say, I will not sell. It's not by force. Yeah. But every player Pep has requested for, he's been given. Like I said, wherever there is Pep Guardiola, there is absolute joy. <laughs> wherever there is the Glazers and the so-called say Jim Ratcliffe, there's absolute disaster and sorrow. Me, I don't want to be you part choose, of that joy. pay in that sorrow. No more. <laughs> I have politely and gently decided to save my life and move on. I need to stay long more. I need to stay for your, for up your to 90 daughter. years. 90 years minimum. These people, they will kill me. I don't want them to kill me. Let me take ah. Edwin's thoughts. Edwin, thoughts on this game and then the Liverpool game as well. Snap thoughts before we go. Look, for this game, coach has mentioned that they lost the game once the yellow card was given to Amrabat. That mm -hmm. was it. And Mason Mount came on in the second half right for, uh, for Amrabat. And Ten Hag admitted it. They lost any modicum of control that they had yeah. from the first half. After that, City just took over, mm -hmm. passing the ball around wherever they wanted, attacking whenever they wanted. Mm -hmm. They didn't meet any sort of resistance at all from United. And you have to look at that second goal that uh, uh, Man City scored. Yeah. Bruno Fernandes loses the ball and then it just spreads panic all over, all the, over the place. Everyone is running everywhere. Mm -hmm. City calmly passes it to the goalkeeper, to defender, to midfielder, uh, spread the plate back to the left-hand side. Yep. And then the United players are chasing the ball. Maguire is all over the centre-back. No there was somebody marking it. The, he left Haaland. Yes. Just running anywhere at all. So the ball, the ball ah. gets to Bernardo Silva. Yeah. And Haaland, who is the most dangerous striker on the head alone by presently, him. is left alone on the far end to head home easily. It happened at least twice. It happened yes. twice. That, look, but for Nana, it would have been seven. <laughs> seven. And it's, it's disturbing to see United go through this phase because I feel, personally feel, mm -hmm. they have a lot of quality players. Uh -huh. Regardless of who they might have missed it's out on It's not going to get summer. better. It will get worse <laughs> and worse and worse. That's it from. Let me read a few messages to close out the show today. Uh, 